What is up, everyone? I'm Igor. Welcome to my workshop. Today I'll show you a simple trick that helped me to drastically improve quality of PDG prints. Minimum B-roll, straight to the point. Let's get started, shall we? I've been printing a lot with PETG in the last month, because as you may know, there is currently a huge demand for personal production equipment. My artillery Sidewinder X1 can handle PETG just fine, but the print quality was lacking, to say the least. See for yourselves. All these hairs and blobs, it's terrible. I had to spend a lot of time burning them with a torch and then cutting the blobs off with a knife, then sanding. And while PTG is generally known to be prone to stringing, this seemed a little bit excessive. And I felt something was wrong. Also, I've never had such problems with PTG on my old printer. But then I've discovered this setting, which allowed me to reduce stringing and blobbing to almost zero. Here's Cura and uh, Prusa Slicer side by side. Um, this setting is called Infill Before Walls in uh, Cura. It's uh, in the Infill section. And in Prusa Slicer, it's called Infill Before Perimeters. Uh, it's under Print Settings Infill. Now, if this setting is unchecked, then the walls will be printed first and later when the infill is printed, the ends of the lines seem to like stick to the walls, reducing the amount of stringing. Actually, Prusa Slicer has this setting off by default, so you see the, the default value is false. But Cura, for some reason, seems to have it on by default, and uh, I couldn't find this setting in Idea Maker, but you know, I may be wrong, not the first time, definitely not the last, let me know uh, if I missed it there. But anyway, uh, let's uncheck it and let me show you the uh, results. And check this out. It's day and night, there are barely any wisps of plastic. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, every other setting is exactly the same. The only difference is that I have unchecked that single checkbox in Cura. Uh, well, theoretically, printing the walls first may cause the uh, uh, worse overhang quality, but honestly, I haven't noticed that. So, I'll probably stick with that checkbox turned off until I run into something. And that is all for the today's short video. I hope you liked it and you've learned something new from it. Please let me know in the comments if this suggestion helped you to improve your PDG print quality or, I don't know, perhaps made it worse. Um, this material is very important nowadays since it is recommended for reusable personal protection equipment. It's strong, it's chemically resistant, it can be disinfected many times without any significant degradation. By the way, I wonder if you noticed uh, hints for my next video. And please let me know in the comments if you think you did. Thanks for watching, happy tinkering, stay safe, support each other, and don't forget to have fun. Bye!